Hi there. I'm about to join the underarm portion. I'm about to put that together, so I thought I'd videotape this part and so that you could see what your the yoke of your uh, baby sweater should look like at this point. Um, one thing I want to say, if you're if you are not exactly straight on these ends, one thing I've noticed is that the mistake isn't necessarily that you um, added stitches here. The mistake is is that you weren't able to put three half double crochet right into the center stitch. So my suggestion is if you've had that trouble and it got all crooked and say it's starting to go either this way, you know, at a diagonal or or whatever, it needs to be straight like that. Um, you'll have to undo your work, but going forward, just go ahead and mark that corner half double crochet after every time that you do it until you really understand and, and get a hang of where that middle um, stitch is. So the other thing I wanna show two is how I'm chaining two and when I mean that the chain two does not count I'm just going into the very first stitch I'm not skipping over that stitch and um, so that's what that means in double crochet you most likely would be skipping I mean yeah skipping over that in double crochet usually the chain three counts as your first stitch but in half double crochet and single crochet, it does not count. So I'm quickly getting myself over to this corner so that I can show you. Because sometimes this um, joining under the arms can be a little bit confusing, but once you've got this step figured out, you'd be able to make any kind of baby sweater. So what I do is I crochet right up to the middle, that middle, half double crochet of the chain three that I worked into one stitch from the row below. And I just work one half double crochet into that stitch and I chain two. And then I go ahead and skip over all of these stitches and go right to the middle stitch over here. And I just work another half double crochet right into that stitch and you have formed and then just continue on your way and you have made a little arm hole let me show you what this will look like and the reason why I do add chain two sometimes I'd even do a chain three if I if it's um, sometimes I do that for boys sweaters because boys seem to be you know kind of that chunky in the uh, in the middle so that it gives just a little bit of extra room for when I go and do the body the bodice part okay so now going forward I'm just gonna work around the back I'll work the same thing over here and then when I start working the body I'll just be doing the body back and forth and I'll have my nice little armhole and then we'll go back and add the arms um, I think I will probably get back, hop back on and I'll record once I get to the hood and I can show you how easy it is to just start making the hood. Okay, hope that helps you out. Thank you.